Well, first let me begin by saying Happy New Year to all of you wonderful ladies who still watch my channel here on Shima Hair 21. Yes, it seems incredible, but we made it to 2021. The year 2020 was such a challenge. Oh, such a challenge. Even I lost a close family friend to this C virus pandemic. So my heart goes out to any of you ladies who have lost loved ones as well to this terrible thing that we're going through. It's very unfortunate. And I'm so completely upset by what's been going on. You know, it seems so unimaginable, you know, like straight out of a horror movie or something. And we're like in this movie that we never even auditioned for. The year 2020 was very rough for all of us and for me as well. And I almost didn't come back to YouTube, not because I didn't want to, but because I just couldn't. And in my situation, it was because I've been battling pain with my uterus. So that was my situation. And not just any pain, <laughs> excruciating pain. And when it first started, it was horrible, you know. The pain was just unbearable, ladies. And you literally could hear me screaming from Miami to Antarctica. So it was that serious. No joke. And to make things perfectly clear, no, I do not have what is called endometriosis, as that was never my diagnosis. But the term endometriosis is like the best way that I can explain, you know, the kind of pain that I've been going through. Um... I felt this pain every four hours, every six hours at most, and I had to constantly take painkillers or suffer. You know, I mean suffer. You know, I've never gone through that in my whole life. You know, I get my period pains, the, uh, and even that is horrible to a certain degree, but I've been able to manage that throughout the years. But this kind of pain is pain that also felt like period pain, you no know, menstrual cramps, but it was every single day every single day pain 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 i took several tests from blood tests to the ct scans but the results just didn't show anything and my gynecologist said that there should be no reason why i should be feeling this pain which was incredible absolutely incredible because i was feeling pain lots of pain and like i said every single day ladies every single day again non-stop horrific pain and nobody could tell me what was wrong the professionals the doctors could not tell me what was wrong so not only could I not do any more YouTube videos I couldn't do anything <laughs> nothing until I began doing my own research on you know on um, uterus pain and things like that or pain around the uterus and also my brother's girlfriend gave me some of her womb herbs you know herbs uh, you know herbs those natural natural leaves and things like that which you know began to help me so much and from there I completely changed my diet to 90 I'll say from 90 to 95 percent vegetarian you know so I drank my green juices, which was a mixture of everything from broccoli, celery, carrots, lettuce, anything green, basically. You know, and that's just to name a few of the vegetables, you know, that I use for my green juices and things like that. So I drank my green juices religiously every morning, noon, and night. <laughs> and lo and behold... Lo and behold, that, that horrific pain in my uterus began to dissipate. Disappear! Yes! And even though it will still come back, because it hasn't disappeared 100% like I wanted to. It's like, you know, it still comes back, but not as strong as before. So I thank the Lord, my brother's girlfriend, and my own research for showing me the light. Showing me what the doctors couldn't. Because let me tell you, let me tell you ladies, none of them suggested that I start eating healthy. At least that, you know. Oh, you know, it must be, you know, my female gynecologist telling me, oh, it must be um, your muscles, the muscles around my uterus contracting, you know. It couldn't give me a straight answer, you're the gynecologist. So I was, 
I just couldn't believe it. Really, I just couldn't believe it. You know, a gynecologist that's been studying uteruses and women's reproductive system basically her whole life, you know, couldn't tell me at least that. Eat healthy. That's something I had to, you know, research on my own. So imagine if I wouldn't have that fortitude to do my own research or my brother's girlfriend, you know, to suggest the herbs, you know. People that are not doctors that didn't study this are the, <laughs> we're the ones who found the answer on our own, basically. And that's such a shame. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. But hey, it's okay. God led me down the right path. And so here I am again today with you ladies. <laughs> again, I managed my uterus pain by basically eating ve vegan. And to be honest, I do eat my meat from time to time, especially during these past holidays, you know, like, you know, Christmas. And remember, I'm Afro-Cuban, so I celebrate my Noche Buena with my family. So we ate pork and things like that. But I'm not eating as much meat as I used to before. And the pain in my uterus is very minimal now. I, I, I'm basically just managing it. But I think I'm on my way to hopefully making it disappear once and for all. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and, and by the way, let me, let me say this. The definition of endometriosis is as follows. It is an often painful disorder very painful disorder in which tissue similar to the tissue that normally lines the inside of your uterus. And that is referred to as the endometrium and it grows outside of your uterus. So that's why all that pain that the ladies that have endometriosis, you know, they, they suffer through that because it's growing outside of the uterus. But that wasn't my case. I wasn't diagnosed with that. The results, the CT scan didn't show that, you know. So seriously, ladies, I'm just happy to be back, to be, you know, to be basically pain free and to get busy doing what I do best, teaching a woman of color how to grow fairy tale mythical hair. So if you are new to my channel, just know that I've been here since 2008. I have my own personal line of hair growth products. They're right behind me. My Shima oil, my Shima hairline cream, my Shima hair repair shampoo, my Shima hair repair leave-in conditioner, my Shima hair moisturizing shampoo, and recently I created my Shima homemade hair butter. So this is my entire line of Shima Hair Growth products as of today. And again, I'm going to, of course, teach you how to use them all over again, you know, to gain the best results you possibly can. Again, my Shima products cater to Afro textured hair by keeping it moisturized all day without the heavy or harsh ingredients like the typical over-the-counter hair growth products usually are. Every single ingredient in my products are of high quality ingredients that will penetrate into your hair to wipe out hair dryness on the spot and thus help you grow your hair super long. And, and the best part is that I developed my products to work on both natural or chemically treated hair. So whether you are a natural hair lady or you treat your hair with perms, with, you know, hair dyes, you chemically, you know, straighten your hair or use chemicals in any form, it's going to work for you because it caters to afro textured hair no matter in what condition it is. Now, today you see my hair in a curly state, right? Well, that's because during all those months I spent battling that horrible pain with my uterus, you know, I kept my hair braided up. So it was eight braids and I kept my hair moisturized with a combination of first my homemade Shima hair butter, which is this baby right here, which is a concoction that I create right here in my home. It is a mixture of my Shima oil, my Ivory Shima shea butter, castor oil, vitamin E, and also with a hint of vanilla essential oil. Now this combination of ingredients is a natural hair girl's best friend. This particular um, container here I've been using, I use my own Shima products on my own hair. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> so this combination of ingredients, okay, is a natural hair girl's best friend. 
as well as relaxed ladies, which they can also use it, especially if you're in the transition stage. Basically, you apply it to the new growth, okay? But it also looks great on relaxed hair. But again, this particular product I created to cater to natural hair ladies. <laughs> and it's very soft. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing hard. Penetrating, the ingredients penetrating, that dryness that, you know, you may be suffering with and it's it's great it lasts all day just like my shima oil and only a little bit goes a long way you know and i just wanted you to look at the texture okay that's what it's gonna look like <laughs> oh and not to mention how incredible the vanilla essential oil smells it just smells mm, so nice and light it's nothing harsh that you know it's very that's strong and 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 uncomfortable it, it's just a nice light scent oh I love it. I personally love it. <laughs> so as I explained before, I apply Mashima homemade hair butter to each single braid individually. You know, as you know, you section your hair, right? And then as you begin to create the braid, you apply the hair butter. You ladder up a nice amount in your fingers and you just begin to braid up your hair. And that way when the braid is finished, the entire braid it has been moisturized with the Shima homemade hair butter that thick juicy goodness you know of moisture wiping out that hair dryness on the spot just like my shima oil does and i'm gonna get into my shima oil and then every morning i will remove my shima girl silk scarf and i keep it nice and moisturized with my shima oil this is the eight ounce i carry eight ounce and i carry the four ounce shima hair oils okay this is what they look like for any newbies that are you know just watching me for the first time <laughs> so with this shima oil i will keep you know i will keep each single braid moisturized lightly every single morning so what am i saying ladies that i did not neglect my hair just because i was going through excruciating pain even through pain i was taking care of my hair <laughs> So I kept my hair in a protective style. The eight braids is a protective style. Remember ladies, how I made video after video explaining how important protective styles are to hair growth. Well, now with this pandemic, that sure put us to the test, didn't it? So I hope you ladies did not neglect your hair, but if you did, do not worry because hair bounces back. But with the right products okay and a lot of tlc so with that said i'll be back ladies and we're going to talk about all of that and more in my next video let's make the year 2021 a really successful one for us <laughs>